TPT visible arka? Yes sir. Okay. So today we will be seeing inertial movements sensor. This sensor is used for measuring the movements, human movements. Okay. <coughs> as far as you people knows, it is used in rehabilitation for data analysis or any movement kind of parameters and measurements. This is being used. But also this is uh, being used in diagnostics of, uh, for example, ECG signal for heart rate also. In the in the sense, like when heart rate increases, there may be two reasons. One is due to physical condition. Patient uh, abnormal or the heart rate will increase or due to pressure or any uh, uh, patient parameter, health parameters. Another parameter is if the patient is uh, having any cardio kind of exercises, running or jogging, or other exercise, for long enough, then that will also parameter uh, the heart rate parameter increase. Out. So, a heart rate sensor, if you place it in your ear, or place it in your brain, it should also contain this inertial movement sensor because the increase in heart rate, in the movement, not only the child, the physical condition, not only the patient, the health condition, not only the child, analyze it under that. Okay. So in your application it will and uh, in multimedia field for video games or animation kind of thing this uh, is being used and to use this there are three standard techniques one is stereo photogrammetric and another one is mechanical another one is or electromechanical another one is magnetic system so based on these three uh, sensors or three components the sensor is built and it is being used in the practical application and for this device to be very accurate to, to give a very accurate results they should be used in a restricted area in the sense uh, or a structured particle or a, a physical uh, regular physical um, bounded structure in the sense or obstruse obstruse parts in a point obstruse point is nothing but if you are walking uh, if someone crosses you, obstructs you, that is obtrusive. So, one physical or a parameter in the, in the analyze and the parameter should be a regular sized uh, or normal sized parameter. For example, our human body. And also, uh, the uh, stereo photogrammetric concept is the same. The sensor where you are placing that should be visible to the outside okay now for example hand or regular place uh, or outer skin la place that is uh, that is the meaning for that and apdi place pannada vara obstructive person ko illa ninga enna parameter ka id analyze pandringlo adu human body oda outside parameter la visible parameter la nadha it is i can able to measure okay now so this uh, in this uh, initial moment there are recent advancements uh, which leads to the design and development of new tools for the comfort of user and the device made portable and for non-structured environments also they have been in research okay so this uh, initial moment sensor this is built by as i said these three components and the components i mean the sensor Every the build panni um, human body la wear pandrukaga nam use pandra electronic system enna na one is micro transducers that is applied on the uh, subject body either hand wrist or uh, shoulder or leg leg area or neck collar indha mari edho area la place pannuvanga illaina textile based strain sensors use pandra okay la but textile based strain sensor ungala indha syllabus ka neenga depth ah paaka matinga just what is fact ah this micro transducer will be looking at okay the micro transducer if you see this device is based on inertial sensor and uh, this as you say you know micro transducer my micro sized uh, chip it is a MIMS technology chip it is with, uh, it is available in low cost and uh, miniaturization is very small that uh, that is able to possible okay well. So, by building this micro transducer, uh, for your inertial movement, we have a parameter analysis that is accelerometer sensor. Okay, in the syllabus, the accelerometer sensor is uh, in the topic, a big point. Uh, 
you know accelerometer sensor is used for measuring the acceleration of anything that may be human running or vehicle automotive parts anything uh, where, where, wherever the acceleration uh, topic comes the accelerometers may, may be applied for that so this is widely used for automatic discrimination of physical activity and estimation of body segmentation inclination with respect to uh, absolute vertical absolute vertical is in the normal horizontal vertical parameters so all the vertical da so last semester in biomechanics padikumbo and gait parameter padichirpinga uh, where and the vertical position is uh, given is given a very imp- high importance in the gait analysis because in the patient to the movement the walking jumping whatever it is and the gravity based panni in the vertical position la analyze pannuvom usually okay la so accelerometer in the vertical uh, position ge based panni da the sensor works and uh, accelerometers it cannot be used as a single device accelerometer not thaniya vich we cannot uh, find any parameter so with uh, combination of different sensors uh, that may be uh, gyroscopes magnetometers temperature sensor and many different sensors oda combination la da in accelerometer run pannuvom to obtain the uh, expected value expected output okay and one advantage of uh, sorry two advantages of this uh, accelerometer is very low encumbrance and low cost and the disadvantage is possibility of obtaining only the inclination information in static situation okay uh, you will be seeing static and dynamic parameter in later part of this topic um, and this is an application for accelerometer sensor okay Uh, there are different types of tremor processment of motor control load estimation everything okay this accelerometer sensor particularly when it is using on the human body okay la uh, or single accelerometer nam use panna mattom as mentioned here triaxial accelerometers will be used okay la what is the triaxial accelerometer you know the meaning of tri is 3 so three accelerometers connected with the orthogonal position ஓகேங்களா ஒரு சென் ஒரு பாயிண்ட்டை டச் பண்ணுற மாதிரி ஒரு மூணு ஆக்ஸ்ட்ரோமீட்டரும் இப்படி கனெக்ட் ஆகிடும் கேன் யூ இமேஜின் புரிஞ்சுதான் எப்படி சொல்கிறேன்னு ஒரு சிங்கிள் பாயிண்ட்டை டச் பண்ணுற மாதிரி மூணு ஆர்த்தோகனல் மூணு ஆர்த்தோகனல் பாயிண்ட்ஸ்லேருந்து ஆக்ஸ்ட்ரோமீட்டர் இப்படி டச் ஆகும் கேன் சம்மன்ஸ் எஸ்ஆர்னு understand acha illa yes sir okay so if understand panni mudlina romba simple or moonu pen eduthukonga moonu different point la irundhu or single point ah touch pannunga single point ah touch aara mari moda pen ah place panni paarenga that is three orthogonal direction okay moonu direction la irundhu or single point ah place pandra dhaan this three axial axonometer oda concept ah Uh, they can be assembled by as said mounting three ax- single axis accelerometer in a box in as orthogonal direction or using a sensor based on one mos okay uh, theoretically how this accelerometer calculates anything uh, any physical parameter from our body is uh, is actually this in equation y is equal to start i come but i have a doubt whether it is an z because adikila the inclination vector is z and not defined by any theory irukku so i think this may be a pra- printing issue so i'll confirm it but uh, as far as i understood it is zeta okay la z is equal to a minus g into y1 y2 y3 matrix this a is accelerometer parameter in the system inertial acceleration and g is gravity vector and you know in graph sheet you plot x axis and y axis okay x axis represents the horizontal line and y axis represents the vertical line so on the y axis tha in the y1 y2 y3 parameter okay la uh, this three parameter indicates for three accelerometers moon accelerometer oda uh, analysis la vara output tha and the vertical point tha y1 y2 and y3 okay so when it is uh, an acceleration with y1 and y2 and y3 minus gravity vector value of y1 y2 y3 when you subtract these two then you will get the value of z that is inclination vector so 
I was telling inclination vector from the beginning. Inclination vector is nothing but you know the inclination meaning na angle da. Okay, some somewhere inclined right side or left side. Uh, 180 degree la 360 degree 250 degree edho or pakkam inclination aagutha okay some kind of bending is meant for example uh, one example is kind of the patient bending in some direction not straight not exactly 90 degree na so 90 degree irukano but the patient is bending somewhere appadina and the inclination difference you can measure through this parameter okay la and um, okay uh, the, this is the theoretical like, theoretical explanation part so uh, as i said uh, uh, two kind of conditions static and dynamic okay when the patient is in rest state then you can say it as whether it is sitting or standing that is uh, that doesn't matter but when when they are in the rest state it is static condition okay in the static condition this inclination vector calculation is somewhat uh, easy we can say because only the gravity is present and inclination is uh, with the respect to vertical norm either if the patient is sit not sitting in the straight moment somewhere inclined left or right or paka sans ukandranga na then gravity la 90 degree la evlo inclined ah poirukanga nte the three axial accelerometer <coughs> triaxial accelerometer will be calculating and it will uh, used on the based on the, the uh, uh, formula you can find it easily but when during dynamic condition that is when the patient is in movement ஓகேங்களா அப்போ என்ன ஆகுனா பேஷண்ட்டோட மூமெண்ட்டுக்கு ஏற்ற மாதிரி கிராவிட்டிலேயும் சேஞ்சஸ் வரும் கிராவிட்டி மிஷன்ஸ் கிரவுண்ட் கிராவிட்டியில் வராது பேஷண்ட்டுக்கு வென் கனெக்டட் வித் கிரவுண்ட் வென் தே ஆர் இன் த மூவிங் ஸ்டேட் தேர் கிராவிட்டி வேல்யூ ஆல்சோ சேஞ்சஸ் ஸோ வென் போத் வேல்யூஸ் ஆர் இன் வாட் டு சே டைனமிக் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் கண்டினியூஸாக சேஞ்ச் ஆகிட்டே இருக்குது அப்படின்னா தென் அட் தட் கண்டிஷன் திஸ் எஸ்டிமேஷன் ஹேஸ் எஸ்டிமேஷன் எரர் மைட் அரைஸ் அண்ட் எஸ்டிமேஷன் இஸ் டிஃபிகல்ட் ஓகே this uh, this estimation is will be very difficult when the process uh, goes to running or jumping kind of thing okayla uh, walking na the in the movement la uh, in the static movement la irundhu konjam difference irukum so measurement konjam tough a irukum running um bodhu inno fast a and the movements maarite irukum uh, for example walking la oru 5 seconds once and the parameter maarudhu gravity and acceleration maarudhuna ungalku running la 1 second once maarum so apo number of uh, dynamic values increases so due to that the complexity of the analyzing that parameter also increases okay so, so since due to this complexity many algorithms have been developed uh, to test the performance and it is being as i as we said still in research and some uh, some applications uh, it is being used for some application still in research because of this parameter okay and uh, in this kalman filter technique uh, pathi solirpanga or just a term introduce panirpanga that is uh, it is kind of a model based approach to measure this accelerometer parameter only okay uh, you you people i don't know some uh, some of you might have did this project or uh, heard this project the fault detector